1941, Hitler's insatiable hunger for conquest led to a daring plan, the invasion of the Soviet Union. As the German war machine marched towards the motherland's vast resources and territories, the Soviet tanks, particularly the KV-1 heavy tank, stood as the first line of defense, and a small road, dubbed Tank Alley, would become the site of a legendary battle. Only miles away from the capital, Lieutenant Zinovi Kalabanov and his platoon of five KV-1 tanks faced the advancing German forces, fully aware that the fate of their nation hung in the balance. Against overwhelming odds, Kalabanov and his comrades stood their ground, unleashing the full might of their tanks against the advancing enemy while trying to ignite a spark of hope and determination in the hearts of their fellow Soviet soldiers. Little did they know that their heroic actions on Tank Alley would go down in history as one of the most impressive tank battles ever fought. False Truce As Europe descended into the abyss of World War II, Adolf Hitler's insatiable hunger for conquest led to a daring and ominous plan, Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. Fueled by dreams of Lebensraum, or living space, and Aryan supremacy, the Third Reich set its sights on the Soviet Union's vast resources and even larger territory. However, deception and diplomacy paved the way for this monumental mission. The 1939 Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact lulled the Soviets into a false sense of security, leading them to believe they had secured peace with the Germans. But instead of maintaining a truce, Hitler and the German High Command meticulously plotted a colossal assault. In December 1940, Hitler issued Directive No. 21, outlining the objectives and strategy for Operation Barbarossa. Millions of soldiers, thousands of tanks, and a formidable array of artillery were marshaled towards the ultimate goal of complete annihilation of Soviet military forces, the capture of vital cities like Leningrad, Moscow, and Kiev, and the subjugation of the Russian people. As the Wehrmacht swept across Western Europe, they secretly prepared for their titanic Eastern offensive. Intelligence was gathered, maps scrutinized, and countless supplies stockpiled near the border. Barbarossa would be a bold gamble, one that Hitler believed would secure the Third Reich's place in history. The Leviathan Despite whispers of a massive German invasion circulating through the upper echelons of Soviet power, Stalin clung to the foolish belief that Hitler would not risk a two-front war. Beneath the surface, however, there were those in the Soviet military who recognized the danger and took steps to prepare for the inevitable conflict. The Soviet people, aware of the horrors that had befallen their Western neighbors, were filled with grim determination to defend their homeland at any cost. At the forefront of the Soviet force were the Soviet tanks, particularly the KV-1 heavy tank, a fearsome vehicle with armor up to 130 millimeters thick. Armed with the 7.62 millimeter F-34 gun, this mighty beast dominated the battlefield and threatened to outmatch early war German panzers. If aimed correctly, the armor-piercing shells fired by the KV-1's cannons could penetrate the German tank. Despite the KV-1's impressive armor and firepower, it was not without its drawbacks. Weighing around 45 metric tons, its underpowered engine limited mobility, resulting in slow speeds and reduced agility compared to other tanks. Its massive size and weight also posed logistical challenges, and its mechanical complexity led to frequent breakdowns and maintenance issues. Production was labor-intensive and time-consuming. In preparation for what was sure to come, factories had toiled relentlessly to churn out these mechanical leviathans, and the Soviet tank force swelled to an impressive size. Though many of these vehicles were still in the process of being distributed and integrated into the Red Army's ranks, their sheer numbers presented a daunting challenge to any potential invader. The beginning. On June 22, 1941, the Earth trembled as the largest invasion force in history, comprising over three million German soldiers, surged across the Soviet border. The vast expanses of the Soviet Union, with its endless forests, swamps, and plains, would soon become a battleground of unimaginable ferocity. Operation Barbarossa had begun, and the German war machine struck with speed and ferocity catching the Red Army off guard and reeling from the onslaught. The now famous German Blitzkriegs, a combination of rapid armored thrusts, devastating air power, and relentless infantry advances, carved a path of ruin through the Soviet countryside. By the end of the first month and a half, 
the Germans had captured vast swaths of Soviet territory, including major cities like Minsk and Smolensk. But despite their early successes, the Wehrmacht was beginning to feel the strain of a brutal and unforgiving campaign, as the Soviet Union had proven to be a far more formidable adversary than they had anticipated. With this in mind, the Germans headed towards Stalingrad, where a new generation of heroes would be forged, and the course of history would be forever altered. Kolobanov The summer of 1941 was a time of war and uncertainty. The Soviet Union was under attack from German forces, and every day brought news of more losses and setbacks. Amidst the chaos and destruction nearing Stalingrad, Lieutenant Zinovi Kolobanov, an experienced and fearless tank commander, stood out to his men as a beacon of hope. Stationed near the village of Krasnogvardesk, approximately 30 miles southwest of Leningrad, Lieutenant Kolobanov and his platoon of five KV-1 tanks were tasked with defending a vital road against advancing German forces. Not content with simply waiting for the enemy to attack, he devised a bold and daring plan to turn the tables on the Germans and strike at the heart of their advancing forces. Lieutenant Kolobanov was an exemplary Soviet leader who understood the importance of strategy, positioning, and camouflage, and he carefully studied the situation and readied his detachment. Because the road was curved, German traffic would have to slow down. As such, Kolobanov decided to implement a ruse against the enemy and carefully arranged a small but powerful platoon of five tanks in an ambush formation, with his own tank at the front and the others in a semicircle behind him. Each KV-1 tank carried twice the average amount of ammunition, two-thirds of which was armor-piercing rounds. They then used branches and foliage to conceal their positions. This strategic placement not only provided them with an element of surprise, but also allowed them to effectively target the approaching German tank column. Kolobanov then ordered his other commanders to hold their fire and await further instructions. He wanted to keep the size of his force a secret, with only one tank at a time engaging the enemy. Trapped Soon, the vanguard of the formidable German 8th, 6th, and 1st Panzer Divisions approached the curvy road, and the air was thick with tension. As the unsuspecting German tanks drew closer, unaware of the devastating ambush awaiting them, Kolobanov's strategic genius finally got a chance to shine. In a massive display of precision and composure, Kolobanov's gunner, Andrei Yusov, knocked out the leading German tank with its first shot. Assuming that the tank had hit an anti-tank mine and failing to realize they were being ambushed, the German column halted, allowing Yusov to destroy the second tank. The Germans, now aware they were under attack, were firing blindly, frantically searching for their invisible assailants. These forces found themselves easy prey for the relentless Soviet fire. Under a hail of enemy fire, Kolobanov decided to personally man the KV-1's main gun to knock out the Germans himself. Then, as their ammunition reserves dwindled, Kolobanov boldly ordered another KV-1 into the fray, obliterating an astonishing 21 more German tanks within half an hour. Tank Alley By the time the smoke cleared, a total of 43 German tanks lay in ruins at the hands of just five Soviet KV-1s, a testament to the superiority of the Soviet tanks' armor and firepower in the expertly orchestrated ambush. Kolobanov's tank alone was responsible for destroying 18 of the 22 tanks. It was even reported that his vehicle took over a hundred hits from enemy fire, but none penetrated the KV-1's thick armor. This encounter became known as the Kolobanov Ambush, and it's considered one of the most successful tank engagements in history. The road where the attack took place was then nicknamed Tank Alley. The resounding victory not only dealt a severe blow to the German forces, but also ignited a spark of hope and determination in the hearts of the Soviet soldiers, eventually turning the tide of the war in their favor and driving Germany back to its territory, making Operation Barbarossa a failure. For his actions, Lieutenant Zinovi Kolobanov was awarded the Order of the Red Banner, one of the highest military decorations. He also earned the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, the highest distinction in the nation. To this day, the legendary Kolobanov ambush stands as one of the most successful and awe-inspiring tank battles in history, a testament to courage, skill, ingenuity, and resilience to fight for one's nation. Thank you for watching our Dark Docs video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel for more of history's greatest battles, and be sure to check out the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels for many more epic true stories from the world wars and the impressive military equipment behind them. 
Also, please leave us a like and activate the notification bell to be the first to know about our new content. Stay tuned.